Hey everybody, welcome back here to my channel and today I'm cracking on here with my Mac Hypercoaster build and in today's episode I'm going to be focusing on the Q-Line. This is part one of the Q-Line build and I'm doing something a little bit new today. This is something I haven't really done before and that is trying to make the Q-Line look really natural and organic like something you would see in a real theme park. Um, maybe you have a winding path, some curves and then you go through a little cattle pen at the end that would take you up into the station and that's something I really wanted to do with this build and um, before in the past I've done queue lines that have had diagonal pathing um, which you can kind of just see here in the bottom um, and that's a very simple trick to do in, in this game but I really wanted to kind of take it a little a step further and really play around with some curves so um, I've taken the terrain covers and uh, these match perfectly in with um, like the grass there and I'm basically just going to like put those down and just kind of make this as curvy and as windy as possible make it look really natural and in this spot here where I've just built that circle I thought it'd be a nice area to add like a, a piece of theming like a set piece or something and what that set piece will be at this moment in time while building I really do not know uh, but I'm just going to build and let it see kind of where it takes me um, I have an idea in my head but I don't actually know 100% what I'm doing so I'm just going to start placing things down and seeing what looks good and what doesn't and kind of take it from there. I absolutely love these rocks here. These have been like a lifesaver while doing this build. Um, I've kind of been dotting those around and using Freedom 2K to kind of angle them a little bit and tilt them and resize them as well. Um, so that's been quite handy. And so yeah, I'm just going to kind of do like the top part of the queue line today and then in the next episode of the queue line build i'm going to focus more on like the actual entrance the marquee for the ride and the very beginning of the um queue line and also i want to add in a fast pass queue in there as well because i think that would be something that would be realistic and that something that this ride would actually have in real life if it was real and so i do want to kind of look at those kind of details and also i should think about maybe doing a access um, entrance as well for wheelchair users or that kind of thing um, so I need to kind of figure out as well where I could put one of those but um, definitely going to focus on doing like the fast pass and everything as well in the next episode I just want to get the basics down for the main queue line here and I know what you're thinking like this is just a queue line why is it taking so long um, and you could just run a path down and just call it a day you know but I really wanted to make this as detailed as possible and add in all those little details that I like to see in a queue line I'm using the uh, uh, burial mound there and I think it's a great technique and a great thing that I took from Astrotron um, for using for like ground texture and it's actually really nice to use around the edges of the path just to kind of clean up some bits and also make things join nicely if you've got like a weird transition um, so that's kind of what I've been using that for and I'm kind of blending that in with the terrain so it's not too random but these little dirt piles are on the side of the paths I think look really nice and I also hide some of those green kind of terror painting covers that I've put down as well um, so that's nice and then just to add some more details I put some of these Egyptian pillars along the back of the queue line here and just to add some more to it I just thought I'd add some rope in between them kind of like have them join up a little bit so it's a bit more interesting as if you were a guest walking through, there's more to kind of maybe duck under and walk along. Um, so I thought that was quite nice. Of course, another thing to think about is the fences around the queue line. So obviously around the outside, you're going to want to do higher fences to stop any guests kind of being able to enter a restricted area, maybe where the coaster track comes low down to the ground. Um, you wouldn't want a guest getting in those areas and being hit by a train maybe. Um, but then also on the inside of the queue line, I can do lower kind of fences because if someone was to jump over a fence, they can't actually go anywhere dangerous. Um, these are the type of things I'm always thinking about while building. And um, so I'm going to use these pirate fences in the middle, um, like a singular height. And then on the outside, I'm going to double them up and make them twice as high. So the guests really can't get into any of those um, low track areas. So that's the kind of idea with that. And then, um, yeah, I'm kind of making that straight diagonal path that just look a little bit more natural just by using some of these mounds here which I think works really nicely then in the middle here I had to come up with something I can put in the middle and I was thinking about like what I could do and I decided that I was going to do maybe something like a dig site or like an archaeology um, type scene along those lines um, so here I thought I would do some like vases and like some treasure 
um, that's maybe been dug up and then as you kind of walk along the path I'm going to do a little bit more um, kind of like dig stuff going on so I think that would be quite fitting for this um, seeing as it's kind of old and I'm kind of doing it as like an old dig site especially if you saw the last episode uh, I did the theming all along the side of the river rapids and um, I kind of want to continue that over in this part of the map um, which is kind of like modern day and it, and it's been dug out you know um, like like in Indiana Jones or something like that um, I didn't want it to be actually in the Egyptian times or in that in that kind of era because then the theming would have been actually a bit more difficult it's really uh, much easier and actually I kind of like it better to do it all a bit more kind of um, deconstructed and have rubble everywhere that kind of thing and and just you know you can do more so here I thought I'd to do like a pyramid kind of poking out of the ground and having like the dig tools and that around it to look like it's being excavated out of the ground um, and I did it using this kind of golden pyramid piece and put some rocks around it and that I'm not a hundred percent sure if I've really achieved what I really wanted but I think you can see what I was going for so let me know down below if you think that looks okay or not because I'm not 100% um, convinced but I put some scaffolding around it there just to make it really look like a dig site and then I added some tents as if the people that may be digging slept on site as well. We got some digging tools there that I've hung up and of course some vases um, that may be kind of slightly buried in the ground and they've been kind of excavated as well so that was the idea there for like the middle section of the of the queue line where you kind of loops around so now i really have to start thinking about this kind of main set piece here where the um circle is so i'm kind of you know scratching my head a little bit so i started off with some pillars because it's always a nice start especially with egyptian theming and um i've done quite a lot of pillars already but i think a few more won't hurt and then i found this really cool like egyptian like um wall here that has some like hieroglyphics on it so I thought that'd be quite nice to use as well I just popped it down near the entrance there because I'm going to come back to that and use that again later and then I thought I'd try and make these um, pillars look a little bit different to the ones I've already used by adding some um, cylinders and discs to it just to kind of give it a different look different color and texture um, so I thought that worked out really nicely as well um, and then yeah I kind of did these two pillars I used this cat which I thought was quite cool um, I was just placing random pieces down to be honest and just seeing what looked good and then I kind of was like, okay, let's put some stones around it to give it some texture and make like a staircase up the middle and maybe have this as like an old um, temple entrance or something that's been ruined. Um, yeah, I was trying to just kind of think of anything along those lines. And then I thought it'd be cool to maybe just have this as like some pillars with a big wall behind it and then have the title of the actual roller coaster itself like across a wall. Um, so as you walk past, it's like this nice thing to look at. You can see the name of the ride. Um, a bit simple, but also sometimes simple is good. So I think this worked out quite nicely. I'm going to change the colours, of course. I'm not going to have the yellow. I'm going to make it this nice dark brownie sandy colour as well. Add some more kind of shrubbery and plants and stuff around it. Um, but yeah, that turned out not too bad, I think. Um, maybe it's not what you imagined that I was going to build. I really didn't know what I was going to build there. So I was happy with what I did um, do in the end. It turned out quite nicely, I thought. And of course from there that leads you up into that cattle pen. I'm just going to leave you with a few screenshots now um, with some more shrubbery and you can see some like the little lights and that that I've put around the outside of the queue line. But thanks for watching, I really do appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and a big shout out to my patrons as well. Thank you for the support and I'll see you all next time here on my channel for another episode.